screen right now. So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> put my headphones back on if it's looking like it's going to work. Yeah, I brought the uh, levels up a little bit, too. Well, we're holding it green. That's good. Right. Yeah, we're in the green. It's holding green. Zero drop frames. It looks like it should be working, everybody. How you doing? Everything working okay? Can you see everything? Can you hear us? Me and uh, Sean Wilson's with us. Hey guys. Let me know if you can hear him. I guess I have to talk for them to say if they can hear me or not. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'm talking <laughs> now. Can everybody hear All me? All right, fantastic. Thank you, Nicole. She said that it looks good now. Awesome. Beautiful. Be wind. Beautiful. Yes. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there, guys. Yeah, streaming out of a corporate building is not an easy task. I can tell you that right now. So hats off for even getting it uh, getting it taken care of. I wish I could get my uh, chat a little bit better and bigger, but that's okay. I'll just live with it. That really doesn't <laughs> like being there. Let me try. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can just hold it up for you like this. <laughs> I'll just keep it down right here <laughs> so I can see. I think it'll be all right. Right over here, actually. There we go. So, yeah, out of my element. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream of NASCAR Heat 3. We have Sean Wilson here. He's going to be here to help uh, answer some questions. And we're going to play the game. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, if you weren't here, if you missed out the very beginning, uh, I talked about I will be on a G27 wheel because I'm terrible on a controller, uh, even though I think all the new features were pretty much covered in the previous stream of uh, the 360 camera. You've got the ability to look behind you now. Yes. That's pretty much the biggest things with a, a controller that I, you won't see here. Uh, that in my play style is a lot different than most uh, people that play on a console or something because I'm a hardcore PC gamer, essentially. Yeah. Um, so wheel and, and having the, the, the racing experience is what, what I really get out of the NASCAR Heat Series, uh, which is really cool because you have NASCAR Heat Evolution, then you have NASCAR Heat 2, um, and now we're at NASCAR Heat 3. And it, you, it, I think that you can still have fun with this game if you're into iRacing, if you're into... Uh, all sorts of different racing game titles like uh, Project Cars and whatnot um, on the PC side of things. But I think what PC is like 2% of your market anyway. Yeah, it's a relatively small percentage. It's a very small yeah. percentage. So uh, that's the reason why it doesn't have a lot of like all these things. It's not a simulator. It's a fun game. Uh, it, you can play on a console and have fun, and you can play on a wheel and have fun as well. That's, that's what I'm trying to get across because uh, I think a lot of people have that misconception wrong. First things first, let's jump. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, There's our Nick. host. Yep. From earlier. From earlier. That was the host from earlier. Um, first things first, we're going to jump right into talking about my driver and uh, and the custom car and the paint booth and all that stuff. Because I know a lot of people have been asking, is there a paint booth in the game? There's not a paint booth in the game this time around. Correct. Um, it's basically what you got from last year. Um, and honestly, like as di disappointing as it can be to not, and I know you guys, it's got to be even more difficult to be like, yeah, it's really, oh, it, we really wanted to do it, but we had all this stuff going on. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know, it's pretty much the same thing. And how come you only can get X amount of numbers? Yeah. It's, it's something that I get asked a lot. It's, yeah. it's really a NASCAR restriction. Yes. Um, we need to work more closely with NASCAR to see if we can open that up, but mm -hmm. they, they have, the, the numbers are owned by the teams, and so we only have a certain allotment of numbers we can use. Um, the one exception would be the Extreme Dirt Tour, which is not a, a sanctioned NASCAR series. Where right. We, we can definitely, like, crank that up. We didn't, and I feel bad that we didn't get to that. That might be something we can handle in a patch. Right. And then we'll go back to NASCAR and see if we can't s somehow figure out a way to get more numbers. I know it's a big, huge request we're getting, like, every year. Right. And you guys have quite a few sponsors here. Uh, and keep in mind, I think a lot of the uh, general, pop general population doesn't understand the amount of work that goes into licensing every single sponsor. <laughs> tell, yeah, tell me about it. I mean, like, you know, games like Madden Football, I worked at EA for a while. You have the Players Union that kind of just gets you most everything under one blanket, whereas everything here is mostly separated. So there's a lot of individual licensing, licensing agreements you gotta you got to wrap up before you can ship a game like this. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing I do know that since we don't have the controller plugged in, you can freely rotate the camera around yeah. the car yeah, now. Yeah, we polished up the cameras a bit, yeah. Yeah. So the cameras are a lot better uh, in this. So it, basically what you had from, uh, from, from last year is here again. 
Um, to me, it's really not a, it's not a big deal breaker to me because I didn't honestly didn't spend that much time in my custom car. I played the game for wanting to be out there on the track with the other guys uh, in different series. But when, when it came to uh, the amount of people that um, or the amount of time that you do spend in career mode, I do understand the reason why people would really, really want that. Yeah, we, we understand it, too. It's something that's been high on our list for the past two and a half years or so, and it's something we'll get to at some point. Yeah, um, we, we did update it with you know new, new skins, new templates, um, obviously added the Dirt series to it, so you'll yes. have those cars that you can customize as well. But uh, as far as a full-fledged paint kit, we're not there yet. Right. Profile icon, victory anthem, that's all the same from uh, the last uh, iteration we have custom driver screen pretty much what, what has been there it's basically the same yeah i don't polish I don't, yeah but some polished stuff too i saw some uh, some new things some new in content, there but yeah. for the most part uh the same thing so the biggest things this year are uh a lot of things that um you've listened to the community about you're like hey we know you want a 360 camera we heard you loud and clear you want a 360 camera uh, you got a 360 camera in there. The track map issue, I know that there's no track map in this game. Um, and I genuinely just don't have a need for it. It doesn't bother me. I understand why there's some people out there that may like it. Uh, but I didn't know what your guys' stand on the you track know, map it's, is. It's like any other developer. There are camps, and some people want it really bad, and some people are thinking we can do other things before we get to it. Uh, it's, it's on the list of some stuff that we'd like to get to at some point. We just felt like okay well there's a lot of us who like playing it without it so we we, we haven't gotten there we may right. someday still get there and get a track map in we don't have it this year though yeah yeah i just i'm just telling people straight up what we don't have this year yeah, instead yeah. of like no I, I, I think my marketing team has greenlit me to talk about anything yeah. finally so let's get it all out there <laughs> and the uh yeah we're not we're, we don't have a there's no i saw there was a conspiracy of the webcam being in the way hiding the track map that's no no that's no, not true at all we're, so we're not that clever keep that in mind uh just uh force feedback improvement um i did notice uh because I, I this is an early build of the game so they, the the controls are not completely done but uh as far as controls go if you guys want to know go into options go into your control settings this is a little bit more polished you've got your controller here options for gamepad and wheel now when i went into the wheel um 900 degrees is what i'm using uh, when I went into the wheel, I was like, okay, there's no force feedback option there anymore. But now when you hit X, you're greeted with this screen, which is a force feedback one for effects strength and impact effects to be on. Yeah, off. we moved it, but it's right. still there. Yeah. It's still there. So if you guys open that up and go, oh, where's the force feedback? Just look at the bottom. It's, it's kind of like there. that advanced settings that was in Evolution. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's still Yeah, there. we hit it in plain <laughs> Just clean up the screen a little bit. <laughs> you can go to the configure uh, controls, and you can uh, right here go through all of your stuff and uh and program it how you like yeah we, so. we allow you to pretty much map any controller mm -hmm. any controller other than and this is the just PC. on the pc version yeah yeah you so. don't that's just the pc version correct yeah so keep that in mind uh we didn't make any changes did we shouldn't have nope, nope. nope. all right yeah so we're gonna play some uh, career mode i'll show you some of that uh i already have a career mode started the reason why i don't want to show the beginning of the career mode on is that i don't want to spoil it for you there's yeah. There's like little videos in between, and, and the whole thing is, is an experience that you need to just kind of uh, see for yourself. But we'll open it up, and you'll get to see a little bit of what's going on in career mode and how we have uh, our racing team set up. Me and Bugs, we started our own yeah, racing team. team. Cool. And uh, we have done pretty decent. We've got $58,000 so far, and we have found that it's, it's affordable. Uh, things that I was like, man, I'm going to have to grind to get to this certain level doesn't seem to be present in the game it seems it's very attainable if you want to put the time or if you perform well if you're just i've noticed if you finish badly in races over and over you're not making much money which is a realistic thing <laughs> yeah you can tune the difficulty level yourself too we've made the harder difficulty levels a little bit harder this year so if you really want to challenge yourself of course that's going to affect how much money you earn and how fast you can grow but right out of the box you can you can buy teams almost immediately yes so we've got uh, our next race is the Overton's 225 at Chica Chicago Land. I believe this is one of our hot seats for the Camping World Truck Series. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if we go to our reputation, this is where we sit right now. We don't have any rivals. We have no friends. We've been pretty much right on the edge. Now, one thing is when we are uh, in the career mode, if you send out a, a tweet, because we were just like, for fun, let's insult the guy. It says that it went through, but we don't get to see a tweet ourselves. We don't know what exactly happened during that interchange. So or that exchange. So does that 
matter to the reputation or not? Yeah, what happens is, is these drivers will contact you after a race based on how you performed or other reasons, and uh, you have the opportunity to either compliment them or insult them. Right. <laughs> and if you do one or the other, it'll, it'll affect how they appear on this board here. So okay. if you insult enough people, they'll eventually start to dislike you, and you'll, you'll feel it on the track. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, because you can switch between your different ones. This is Camping World, so here on The Verge right now. You're a clean racer. Yeah, we're in the Extreme Dirt series. So we, we've, been, we've been doing pretty good so far Yep. in ours. Yep. We haven't... Uh, I don't think we have any. Yeah, we have no rivals right now, so that could always change. But as it stands right now, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, your contracts are right here. You have team contracts uh, that you can choose from. Yeah, those are the contracts I think that are going to be available to you at the end of the year when you uh, get an opportunity to choose. A contract, right. So teams. You've earned those so far. Yeah. Yep. These are op op opportunities here. There's your agent. Yep. Yep. There he is, and uh, he says that you need to complete a hot seat offer for them if you want to get. Uh, involved with Cop Motorsports. We have our own right now, so we're not really worried about that. Sponsors is where you can go to get new sponsors. Um, and uh, the required standings, this is one thing that uh, when I saw this, I was like, this is new. This is I'm Yeah, not. you have to finish in a certain position or be placed in a certain position during the season to even qualify for the sponsor. They won't even look at you unless you're like meeting all those requirements. Right, overall. So overall. We're t yeah, so what he's talking about is a uh, your actual place in the standings and the, yeah. and the points. Yeah, these guys require, like for example, Legion there. They want you to be at least 15th in the standings before they even like even even care. look at you, yeah, they won't yeah. Really care. But I mean, they're going to give you twenty eight grand to sign with yeah. them, and then you're going to get eight grand per race. Put that into your team, yeah. Yeah. So th those things uh, are a lot of fun because I'm not a I'm, I'm I generally stray from team management games and management building and all the screens and all that stuff. But uh, I've actually been playing um, No Man's Sky, the new version that came out, and I it's a lot of screen stuff and a lot of grinding and stuff. And uh, this, I opened up. At first, I was like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get a grasp on this. But slow, I, it's very intuitive. Like, it's it's not over your head. If, if this feels like it's going to be too much, it's really not. If you just stick it out and just see what it's all about. Why is career mode settings? So this is where you can go in and change all your stuff. We, we're, we're doing career AI difficulty now. You can't go to a custom difficulty in a uh, career, which we just have it on hard. However, I was told that you guys really worked on the difficulty. We really, AI. across the board, we, we, we tweaked the AI um, just to make them better, of course. And something you're going to do in a game like this year over year. But the harder difficulty levels, which applies to this as well, have been made more challenging. So if you're up for a challenge or if you didn't think, think you were being challenged enough last year, then try try Legend on this game and let yeah. us know you know we i did custom at 105 and they will will kick your butt you have to like, be perfect really? you have to race flawlessly it's, yes. it's good though i mean there are people out there who can do that so it's a good we, yeah, we didn't have that challenge level for those really good really really good players yep race length right now we just have it at four percent we've just been playing with it but if you go to seven percent that opens up flags so now you can turn flags on and off uh and we're actually going to open it up to seven percent today uh keep it on normal flags we're going to turn those to all strict to yellow now that was something that was towards the – you guys really worked on the yellow flags. So where do they stand this year? That Well, that got added late, the strict flags. Like, we had this thing where we want to appeal to a wide swath of people, and uh, if someone didn't really mean to wreck anybody but you're getting cautions a lot, it could kind of ruin the experience. But right. we got a lot of feedback, again, where we try to listen to everybody out there giving us the feedback. So we, we put back in the strict yellow flag um, rules, which means that they're pretty much going to fly no matter what happens like, like they would in real life. Gotcha. Uh, moving along, we have damage, full damage. You guys tweaked the damage model a little bit. It, we, I've noticed that the uh, the crash seem a little bit more spectacular. Yeah, well, we tweaked the uh, damage. We, we tweaked the car models in general like every year. Even the ones that don't change, we tweak everything. So that got a full upgrade and, and looks a lot better this year than it did last year. Awesome. And stability help here, this is just uh, your basic stability. It's kind of uh, uh, what it was in the first uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution where you, it changes the difference between having that that fake stability to keep you from spinning out and ruining your races every single time you go into turn right. one. Basically assist, but it, it, you can't go as fast with them on, but at least you can race pretty clean if you're having trouble. Right, and does it auto break for you? Yeah, a little With bit. them on? Yeah. yeah. Uh, custom setups, all that stuff, and we'll get to that stuff in a minute. Transmission set to automatic, I'll send it to manual. There you go. I'll hit accept on that because I've been using the flappy paddles. Uh, save changes, yes, please. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and accept this next race. And it's a hot seat race, so it's not going to be a big deal here. Um, it's a Chicagoland. I love Chicagoland. Uh, it's not going to be uh, the garage and all that, which we'll get to see here in a minute. So we're, we're already exploring the career we've already started. So what's happening is 
Um, we've been doing the dirt stuff, but we're getting hot seats for the truck series, and then eventually you can buy those chassis and you get a truck or a cup car. Correct. Yeah, you can. Once you get to the truck series, you can decide whether to drive or own and buy your own team. Fantastic. We're agreed to here with the screen. Now the ticker here at the top is a new thing you guys added, uh, and I even uh, expressed that my interest in it. I, I think it would be great to have as an option when you're racing. Uh, I don't know what you would put it on. Probably one of your, uh, you know, information panels to have that pop up for the people that want that kind of live broadcast experience. Yes. But it is cool because after you're done with uh, qualifying, you'll see where everybody kind of sits there if you want to yeah, sit yeah. there and watch it. Um, changing your setups here. This is the new screen. If you want to go down here to your custom stuff, you still can do that. Here's your race one. Uh, I really like that it's less confusing now when you open this up. The race and qualify setup is just like, hey, here's your race setup. Here's your qualify setup. Not a back in and out of a screen to where people kind of would, were getting lost on that, I think. Right. Um, so you have stable all the way to loose. Um, I know a lot of people say, I'm just going to drive a loose race car. Loose is fast. Um, <laughs> Hard to control. Good luck, because yeah. <laughs> loose is loose. Uh, is. I can tell you that. So what did you guys all do overall with uh, the physics on the non-dirt side of things? Because dirt, to me, felt just so different compared to the trucks at Eldora last year. Yeah, dirt was built from scratch. Actually, I, I when I race the XTT series and then I go race Adol Eldora with trucks, it just feels a lot more different than even I recall. But uh, the team of Monster Games built dirt from scratch but they also took a polished pass on the whole physics model across the board for the national series as well so right. um you know some of the things that we worked on the way you interact with other cars especially with stability control off like Let's it go. was a lot easier to fly off the the grid when you got hit by an ai car it's not as easy this year you can keep control a little better right. um so those kind of tweaks adjustments that little things that as a whole will like play out pretty well i think and give the game a whole new feel if we try it this year awesome uh yeah one other thing is you guys been tweaking and working on sounds i know um and uh i, I can say that the the top end rpm they really shine but that's because of the way it was recorded you guys didn't really have a whole lot when it came to uh working with these particular ones but the dirt cars they sound very beefy and loud and obnoxious as they should yeah um but uh, it but for those of you that are wondering what changes there are to the sounds the uh the high-end RPMs are definitely one of those things that you're going to notice immediately. And I'll shut up so you can listen to it on the back stretch. So yeah, that that's uh, one thing that uh, is definitely different on the Monster Energy cars and with the trucks is the the higher RPM. The low ones it seems like uh, if you don't have if you don't have a good recording of that low sound, it's really hard to imitate it or to make it happen. It's the the, the recordings themselves, the the audio files we got from Roush Sheets Engines, which those guys are fantastic. They build the Ford engines for uh, for uh, the National Series NASCAR and the. Where we could work on it, what we need to work on in the future is the, the audio tool inside the game, the engine, the audio engine that I think we can improve going forward. But there is a big leap, um, we think anyway, over last year, sound wise. Right. And then the, uh, the dirt engine you referenced earlier was a company, Durham Racing Engines, who we met through Roush Yates Engines. And they were fantastic, obviously. We needed that dirt engine to sound a lot different than yeah. the other engines. And, and it does. And it does. Yeah. <laughs> it really yeah. does. We're going to start the race here. And we're greeted with the new opening screen. I know a lot of people like this, especially that makes series on YouTube and stuff like I've done. This uh, is nice to show you what's going on uh, with the pre-race inspection failures and stuff. Uh, the only thing that I could even say that I would like to see is maybe these screens a little bit longer, even if they have to do a couple more warm-up laps. Yeah. Because sometimes it seems like it goes a little quicker. Um, but uh, it's nice to have that. Uh, oh, no. you ready? ready to go green. There's a new ready-to-go green sign. I actually noticed that in the uh, driver's meeting at Daytona. That looks a lot like that style outside, of logo. Outside. Yeah. I know those, that first thing that you were looking at, we call those stories. We were trying to, like, give it more real-life feel by having you know, unexpected things happen to other drivers when you start off. And always trying to balance. It matters like, in your career mode, I'll tell you that, because we were really excited when somebody had to go to the back of the track because that's track position for you on a smaller team. You move up. Yes, yeah. you move up that position. You have a better you shot at fulfilling one of those sponsors' requests. 
Yeah, that's stuff that happens in real life. Mm -hmm. you try to get an edge and they get Still punished there. or whatever and they get sent back and it affects the race. We wanted to tap into that a little bit this year. One thing uh, I did notice uh, just playing it over the course of a day is that you can really lean on the drivers, but uh, I know a lot of people were saying, oh, that's not a good thing because you can't spin them out and all this. You can definitely wreck these guys if you yeah. want to. Uh, I got into one and really, really hard in the back end, and they just went spinning like no problem. It's it's the severity of it, but you, you've you gotten rid of the ping pong effect is what I called it, right. uh, where you kind of just bounce off the side of a, a sheet metal. That's gone away. You can kind of lean. So what I'll talk about is like hitting him. See, I can just kind of lean on him, and it didn't bounce me so far out into the next uh, lane. Yeah, you could argue, and I hear this a lot on my Twitter feed, uh, Twitter feedback. I hear this Twitter feedback a lot. Is it very bent on them, and they should wreck? And we're like, yeah, we try to keep it balanced. We don't want everybody to start wrecking. Right. But we really worked on like how you interact with them. Like you said, you could save it. You don't you know, feel as like you are a ping pong ball. Yeah. Yeah, no, and especially with the uh, force feedback up right there, I have those effects on, and I'm feeling it in the wheel, and uh, didn't, it didn't seem like I was getting too far out of control there. Someone got into the middle pass. Yes, that was nice. Got one down low now. Got one down low. Got the uh, change. Yeah. Change to a good camera so you guys can see a little bit more of. The texture work now. The uh, the game did get a texture overhaul. Still the there. sky textures are different. I've noticed uh, a lot of sky box stuff was redone, uh, but the overall, was the textures were upgraded to 4K, weren't they? Everything was upgraded. Well, the PC is definitely 4K. You can run it at 4K. But, right. Um, yeah, everything was upgraded. There. Even you know the position of the sun, the sky, um, the light maps, everything was better. Right. I yeah, no, it looks good. And you got rid of the uh, yellow tinge, I noticed. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of a default of the uh, default of the, the first two games. We're always look, we're learning new things every year with our engine. And as you do, you, you can find ways to improve. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Hold your line. You got one to save. Hold your line. <laughs> and we got the yellow. There you go. So we'll hit uh, pit on, or, well, we're not going to pit on that. We don't need to. Um, the... Uh, I lose train of my thought every time I'm no, racing. No, you do a great job with it. I don't know how you even keep your train of thought with this. <laughs> no, the, uh... I was saying something about the, the wreck. Oh, I was going to talk about the grass. The grass physics. Because um, a lot of people feel that grass is ice. In my opinion, you're not supposed to be racing on grass, so don't, don't hit the grass. Um, in the real world, it is ice to a lot of drivers. So, I mean, you get into it, and I mean, you, I've noticed that on the road course racing I've done, it's a lot more forgivable in the last game. And I didn't know if you guys had adjusted the grip levels in the grass or anything. It comes along with the, the polish pass that we, we placed on the entire game, but we didn't make it a major focus because we feel we have to punish them somewhat for going down there. Yeah, absolutely. So if we make it too realistic, we'll use that right down there. Um, but I don't think you'll find it as icy as Right. And then one thing that uh, I noticed was the particles have been, they've been upgraded quite a bit. Uh, the smoke looks great this year. Uh, the dirt effects are good. Uh, even if you get down into the grass, your splitter will dig into the, the grass and it will shove dirt over the hood. Yeah, it's actually, really when, cool. you're in, when you're in this view, cockpit especially, obviously, it, it affects gameplay because you can't see for a brief second. Right. Um, so it, it, it was cool that we were able to upgrade that. Yeah, and keep in mind, a lot of these those mess ups I had were I have headphones on, so I can barely hear the game. So, so you're doing a great job. Joey Meyer and driving at the same time. I can't do that. Joey Meyer was yelling at me the whole time, and I'm almost like, yeah, he's like car up there, and you just keep hitting him over and over. All right, uh, so let's move on to the replay mode, and this is the new replay mode, which has the uh, the highlights now. The so you have yeah. a medium replay. Uh, you can change the replay length. Here you got a long replay. You've got a full replay, so you can watch the whole thing still. Correct. And then uh, a short replay. But uh, going off of this, this um, this is kind of a uh, your answer to the the uh, caution replays. So if something big happens in the race, like a wreck, you will get to see it in this. And I noticed that in the time that I spent with the game, that that was the case. Yeah, I mean, I, we get that request a lot too, and we need to get the caution replays in the game um, while you're racing. It's something that would require a major physics overhaul. So we've done mm -hmm. in the meantime, as we work towards that, is put the highlight reel in, which will show you highlights of the race, not just about you, but anything else that happens that's important in the race. So two other guys right. get into it, you'll 
see that show up here as well. That may not have happened in this race. Yeah, this is where the wreck like, happened right here. Right. So you get to see a lot of those things in the short replays, which is nice. It shows you the save you made and, and whatnot. Um, the uh, the other thing is that you see this big, huge thing over the driver. It says driver the whole time. I know they said that that's not in the final game. This is just on this build. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. That, that won't be there. Um, another thing that I, I personally would love to see is um, the, the ability to hide the UI. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need a button in there to let you do that. Yeah. Especially if you want to just you know, do like a you're screenshot doing or, or something. Or send something to your friends or something like yep, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a, Those are just things that uh, I think would make this better. But I love having the, re the race recap because there's a lot of times in Heat 2 where something happened in the race. I'm like, I have no idea how that happened. And now you get to see, you get to see it in a short amount of time without having to scrub through the whole replay. Right. It saves you a little bit of time having to find it yourself. Yep. And uh, I think if we go to the full... Yeah, the full replay, we can actually uh, jog through it. You can still uh, scrub through it. Just yeah. Like you can it. Awesome. So, okay. Well, that pretty much shows that. I'm going to continue here, and you're going to get to see kind of how this all works uh, in, in career mode. We just got done with that race, so I'm sure some drivers are not going to be happy with some of the things that happened out there. Yeah, that's a good point. I want to see that. One. Let's see what happened. Finish the event. Let's see if anybody's mad at you. Yep. And uh, we have the ability to be mad at them, too. Now, one thing I, that I think that would be cool, though, if you could go out of your way to make an insult to somebody after something they did on the track. Yeah. Uh, without yeah. them interacting with you. These that, are steps. That would be pretty yeah. cool. You know, we might get there. I mean, we want to keep building on this mode, so you never know where we're going to go with this next. But those I wreck somebody questions. somebody didn't like. I got 22 fans <laughs> off of that. <laughs> You'll keep getting more fans as you get higher up in these series. Yeah. So we got a top 18 finish for Premium Motorsports. Uh, and they're pretty happy with that. We get $25,000 for that, which is really helpful in purchasing uh, new staff and, uh, and chassis. Because even with um, the dirt car, you need to have three chassis to run the whole series because uh, you have to have the, the road course car for the fantasy uh, road track. And um, at first I was like, man, how are we going to be able to do this? But you can actually, the chassis are pretty fair until you get into the higher spectrum right you don't have to have a chassis per track type um but you will get penalized if you race a different chassis for a different track type so it's it's beneficial yes to get those chassis right i'm gonna go with three type. top 20s on this one for because this is who we have right now is golf good construction they're the uh the one that uh, we don't um your first sponsor yeah the first sponsor uh three top 20s payout 960 i'm gonna go with that one they seem to be achievable for our race team because okay we're gonna be at taggart next at the freightliner 100 purse is eleven thousand seven hundred dollars um and nobody was mad at us we didn't get anything i don't think um yet. let me see go past this yep going to prepare for a race no not yet nope so they so it wasn't that bad you weren't being malicious you no you just had a little trouble on the track so and, and that that goes to show that people that were scared that the rival system was gonna ruin their it seems like you have to really, really wreck somebody to make them mad in, in, in their reputation system. Yeah, we, we didn't want this to be just crazy. Tap somebody and they hate you and they're going to start wrecking you on the next turn. And it, we wanted to balance that out a little bit. It's kind of like a trend thing. If you like develop a trend of being a jerk out there, then it's really going to start to show. Right. Uh, yeah, we, um, we chose the path of, well, you could be a driver if you wanted to, and you could just be a manager. Yes. And uh, we chose the manager's one, but you still drive the cars. You can hire drivers. No, no, no. You are the driver. You are the driver. You are the driver of your team. Oh, yeah. so I, that's what we chose? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so here we are on the Adjust Work Plan um, for the Extreme Dirt Series. Uh, what a work plan is, basically, we've got our short track car, road course car, and we've got a normal one. And it'll even tell you, you know, what your uh, your tracks that are coming up. So it says upcoming tracks. you got Taggart, Normal, Las Vegas. Now, eventually, when you have more staff, you can put more on each car to get ahead of the week. You can prep them like two or three races in advance so that you can, because you can't really bump them all the way up in one weekend. It takes multiple weeks. So as you get more staff, you can start applying them week to week to week and then build these cars up to their maximum Right. Potential. I'm seeing a lot of people asking me if they can or they can't hire drivers in the, you all of it. You don't hire drivers. You yeah. are the driver. You are the driver. There you go. Hopefully that uh, makes sense because I, I didn't know if, if you could or not. Yeah. Um, it didn't bother me either way because, um, like again, I'm not into the management side yeah, of Yeah, it's, it's something we could <laughs> explore going forward, but uh, this year you are the driver. You start your team, you drive for them. Right, and every week we get a new, uh, new race coming up. Your uh, employees will be unassigned. Correct. They'll be like, hey, we, we did the work. 
You know, we're, we don't just work on one car all the time. Um, so what I like to do is, or what we've been doing, is we only have three employees. We put everybody on one car right? And because we, we can't hopscotch them just yet. Uh, no point employee assigned an engine. Uh, we've been using Maggie. Now, what you can do is you can uh, you can pay for training, so anybody's capable of learning engine error or suspension. Correct. Uh, so each person starts like with a, a certain. You can yeah. see who we've been putting our yeah we yeah. we spend yeah. the money on the training for certain people to do a certain thing. I don't know if that's a good idea in the long run or not, but that's what we. That's all what we've been doing. All comes down to finances and what you can afford to spend because it does cost money to train, does cost money to hire. Right. And uh, we can hit start work plan now. So we can hit that. It'll say you want to lock in the assignments and hit accept. When that happens, we move into the race, pretty much the race week. Now we can, or once that's done, we can go into hire new employees if we wanted to. Or sorry, that's our employees. We can. No, you can hire them there too. It oh, you a, can? It was at the bottom. Yeah. Hire new employees. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Sorry. So here's a bunch of people out here that are like, hey, uh, I'll come work for you. If they're pre-upgraded, you'll see that they cost more to hire. Um, yes. You can either like buy them when they're not as like upgraded and then just spend the money later to train them or get them up front. Right. Probably upgraded, but it costs more. And you can do sort by engine if you want to, I see. Uh, purchase chassis this is where you go to purchase these, the short track of the normal ones, if you want to have more. And, and like I said, they're pretty attainable they're in the dirt series. Costs go up when you get into a higher series, but yeah. Yes. They're reasonable. You can improve the equipment. And we've actually ran into this in the beginning where it was like you can't do a certain thing. You need to upgrade your equipment or they won't work on it. Right. An employee can be a certain level, but they can't upgrade a car beyond the equipment. So if the equipment isn't leveled up, then the employee can only get your car so up, so much upgraded. Right. You know. And then the paint kit, you can go in there and paint them anytime you want yeah, to. Yeah, you can change that whenever you want. All right. Sweet. Uh, just the work plan. And so you'll see your short track car is like, actually, right, your next that. race is at normal. So, you know, you're not going to have the best car. Yeah, you're right. I didn't <laughs> you even You need to upgrade that. the normal one. <laughs> so if you choose your uh, short track car, you'll see it takes a performance hit because it's not ideal for yeah. that track type. Uh, so I need to pull them off of that, actually. Uh, you, you already set them. Oh, I already set them. You set them. So, we, yeah. yeah. That's all right. I think we've done this before in the past, so it's nothing. Well, you should be all right. Yeah. In this right, series, it's, it's, it's pretty forgiving in the first series. Right. So now you go, you hit back once you're happy with that, and now you can go to the go race menu. Where it's like, let's go, go try to do it. I mean, if we get a top 20, we get a top 20. Now we have mismatch penalties. Which is saying that you're taking a short track to a normal track type. You're taking a short track chassis to a normal track type, so you're going to get a penalty. Right. And uh, and it that helps when you, it doesn't seem like it's going to, like it matters when you first have one or two cars, but when you have a full bay, I can see how that could be. You're right. losing track of what, what's what. Yeah. And this it's is still, a fast way to know what you can and can't do with it. It's a 76, so it's still better than your other right. your other chassis, but you are not getting the maximum value out of your car right now. I got you. And Taggart County Motorplex is one of the fantasy tracks. And what I really enjoy is uh, with a lot of the fantasy tracks that I notice is the little details that have been sprinkled in there, the like this carnival here going on. Yeah, they're realistic, but we don't want to throw away an opportunity to do something really cool as well. So, like, right. as far as driving, they're, you know, half-mile tracks. They're, they're very realistic in terms of what you'd see on a real road course, but... We wanted to put a little visual flair into them as well. Right. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's see how bad I am in the dirt. Let's go to change setup. That's my favorite uh, track. I like this track. Yeah. I do full loose with a wheel. There you go. With the controller, I found that I just couldn't even control it. <laughs> I do one short of that, but I like the loose car as well. I'll just do a couple of practice laps because I am new to this track. I this track yet. And now you get to hear the new sounds. Yeah. No, I just oh, okay. Sorry. It. Revenant so they can hear it. Pull on out. I love the little uh, homage to short track dirt racing, having the cars pulled in. Yeah. The and their pit roads aren't big enough to fit all the cars, too. So. I saw some people uh, asking about the gearing. Dirt track cars, or dirt, these dirt late models only have two gears. They don't have four gears. Right. It wasn't an oversight by you guys. It's just the way the real car is. Any uh, tips and tricks to really nail in the, the dirt physics? Um, you don't want to spin your tires. Right. You know, you want to try to keep following that line all the way through without spinning your tires too much. You can spin your tires, you're always time. Now, using a brake to in enter more than uh, just throwing the car in there? Uh, it's a matter of opinion. Yeah. I kind of like, I like to let off the brake. I don't use the brake too much. Sometimes yeah. I brake to, to, to cut it loose a little bit. I'm brake free and slide around. 
a um, little bit more than it does naturally, but it's a matter of preference. Really. I'll let you guys see how just south sideways the car is actually getting. So if you think that you can just uh, grab a, a dirt car and nail the gas and turn left, that's not what you do in this physics model. I can tell you that right now. You have to play with the gas, a little bit of the brake here and there. It depends on the track. Definitely depends on the track. I mean, it, there is a learning curve to it, but you can have fun right out of the box, but you can also like it better and better with the more you play into it. Absolutely. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're ready to resume. Oh. Ready to uh, go back to the pits so we can get ready for the race at the qualify because when you're in uh, when you're in your career mode you definitely want to qualify. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. Uh, after I'm done showcasing this stuff, guys, we'll I'll take to the, uh, the chat and we'll, we'll answer some of your questions before we uh, help Sean go back to other things. Track looks a little bit different because the time of day changes yeah. between practice and practice. Yeah, and I know uh, night, uh, day and night transitions aren't in this one. I get a lot of people asking me about that all the time. Another thing that uh, you'd have to have a, a 24 hour clock essentially. Yeah, and it's. Place it between that, but you guys do compression. It's doable, um, and I love that feature. I was a big proponent of it like many years ago in the day. It's just that if you run a 2 three, four percent race, you know, there's a sun, a sun fly across the sky, yeah. like, because yeah. it's not realistic. There are ways to deal with that, too. You can, you can hack that, but someday I'd like to get that feature back into an NASCAR game. So really enjoy we did put a lot of skies in with some really cool, like, like the sunset was a big play here this year. We have a lot of tracks that are showing a sunset sky, which right. is beautiful. So as you see there, we, we're on hard mode, and they – and the level of our car and everything we're only going to be getting if we get 23rd we're going to be happy honestly at, at the way this car is set up right now i can tell you that and hard is hard <laughs> hard is hard it's hard yeah. if you want to put them on legend you're going to probably struggle in the very very beginning good luck to you yes yeah. so we had some people uh make some changes there we're going green this time be ready there you go, Green. Line driver, Nick, let's go. Pedal to the metal. I think you mentioned that, too. That's Joey Meyer, who uh, yes. recorded with us and brought his race day equipment in to do his recording. So he sounded fabulous. Yeah, sounds great. Logging down, but I don't have the... Uh, speed in the car like they do. That's another thing, too. This isn't all based on just your skill. You're driving a car that's not fully upgraded. Remember, you right. take a penalty, and you can technically max out cars to 100, maybe 76. So yes. you're going to have to work to get better cars in order to compete or be competitive. Right. If you go to any short track race in the real world, you're going to see guys doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah. They're out in the back, just turning laps, just trying to get more uh, experience and, and raise more money for their team so they can go faster. Like you said, a 21st right, place thing would be pretty good. Get a little yeah. cash, put it back <laughs> in your team, upgrade them a little more, and then you'll be doing better next week. Yeah, and we have a primary sponsor, and we get money from them regardless of what position we're We're just out there representing them. They're going to be like, hey, there's a little bit of money. Ooh, Martin, a little shot there. Ooh. Still there. He's in the wall. He's not going to be happy about that. You know what? We're, we're racing for 23rd, so that's going to happen. I love the little, little side mirror that, that really helps in the interior view. Yeah, the realistic cars, they don't have the mirror in the middle. You know? Yeah. Oh, caution camera. No, we are not going to pit on that. Advance. Everybody talking about uh, Dirt to Daytona. Basically, that you guys achieved what you wanted to. <laughs> well, the monster groups are in Dirt to Daytona. I mean, yes. We, we had dirt in last year. Eldora was... A unique track last year was a dirt track and very, very popular, so uh, we, we knew that we wanted to expand this. Um, we knew that dirt to the right game, obviously, last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a lot to a lot of us back then when we played these games, so kind of like attribute our own to those little games. Absolutely. Not going to be able to get it done here. It looks like there's one more lap with this taken care of. And Martin's about as fast as he can be. I like these dirt tracks too because they're small. 
Mm -hmm. You give the other ones more perspective. So when you do make it to the NASCAR National Series, having 100,000 people in the stands feels like something. Oh my God, right into the 99 there. He's not uh, he's flipping down. Right. <laughs> he should be angry. Should hey, be you know angry. what? We're trying to make 20 <laughs> he, he may not be too happy with you. Hopefully the PC version is tuned up. Yeah, so they, they won't be so forgiving about it. But we go to the replay mode, and we'll just do a short one real fast so you get to see the highlights of that, and I'll answer some questions. Or you can flip through those, like, highlights as well. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, hitting the next to them. Yeah, if you want to. Um, this to a short one. I think it was already in there anyway. But. All right. Dumping someone for tw 23rd place. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know what? To me, it was worth it because we're we're trying to to do anything but finish last. So it was one of those things. Uh, can we fight drivers in the garage area? Yeah, uh, not, not this year. No, not this year. Um, can you switch between schemes when you take a ride, or are you still stuck with one? When you take over a ride, so if you take somebody's ride, can you change your scheme? That's the ultimate scheme question. I don't have an answer for that right now. My, my okay. apologies. We were still working on that, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'll throw that in chat. Not a problem at all. Uh, is there a stream tomorrow? No, I, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Actually, we'll, we're getting on a plane here in a few hours. Heading back to Orlando. So what caused the caution? Well, let's see what actually happened. If Oh, there's see? where I dumped the 99. Replay link may have appeared in the long replay. Yeah, let's do let's do the long replay, and we'll see what it does. Um, I'm trying to think what the keyboard shortcut is for the previous next clip. Yeah, I forgot that one too. Oh, did that do it? Well, you skipped the four real quick. So. Oh yeah, I think it is that then. So what is this? It it may not have shown up. Let's see. It it may not have been. Sure. It's not going to be every time, but this is also not a polished build, so I can't say for sure. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's all right. Uh, we'll hit the back on that. No tear offs for dirt. Um, because they're, yeah, they're just talking about the dirt hitting your. It's the, an open windshield. windshield. Yeah, it's. Yeah. yeah. This is your first iteration of dirt. I, you guys can always polish that later down the road. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we will. Once we put something in the right too. I, I always see a lot of people ask me about the uh, the adjustable track bar thing. That seems like something you have you have to adjust physics in real time. That, that's the biggest problem with it. Um, I hate making excuses, but it's a, it's a plenty big of physics other, model yeah. like, change to do that while you're racing. So that's a reason why a lot of different racing games do not have that. In yeah, there. It, it, it's been around for a while in the real world, but to attain that is actually pretty. Uh, it's a pretty tall order. Yeah, it's something we could do. It just takes a lot of time and we always make decisions. And uh, I see people asking about pit stops. I, I can tell you the uh, AI are way smarter now, and they'll actually gamble now. There was a concerted effort to fix the issues with pitting. AI pitting is much better now. You will not see as many bugs, if any bugs at all. I haven't seen anything. I, I can't race the game completely and vouch for yeah. every little thing, but uh, we, there was a lot of effort put in by the guys at Monster Games to fix that. It really annoyed them. Um, so pitting is much, much better this year. Yes, merch confirmed. You do you do end up uh, selling merch to fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. $10 at a time in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you it that. It starts <laughs> out really slow. There's not many people on those stands at first. Yeah, I think I only sold one T-shirt there, but that's probably just because <laughs> I dumped the 99. <laughs> Let's see. Look at that got you a fan. Some people like that. Yep, here we go. Here Second may be tough, but that's no excuse for how you drove it. <laughs> there he is. Here's hey, the 99. This is the one. Him. Yeah, I can re reply to him, and I'll just be like... Uh, just provoke him. Yeah, I'm going to provoke him. The other one, I, I will apologize, because I just dumped him. Watch it out there. You're driving all over the place. <laughs> I'll apologize to him. So maybe they'll be okay. And it says reply sent, so you know you've already taken care of that. You can go back. And, uh, Go to your reputation screen and see see if they're on there, which they should be. Yeah, it shouldn't be dramatic, but you should start to see them. Is move. the dirt slick off? No, there's no cushion or anything like that. It's no. it's very basic. Uh, it's just it's the you're getting a dirt track physic, or the physics are dirt, um, and it's all around the track like that. Yeah. Same way. Yeah. So yes, that's that's one thing that uh, is uh, that's another thing that um, that needs polish eventually in, in the in the future. Um, another thing is multiple racing lines. Have you guys thought about uh, doing 
uh, adding or having multiple racing lines with the high line versus the low it's line thing. It's talked about. I mean, there's been polish in that area. I can't say that if this is going to be an iRacing type experience. We are trying to like kind of reach both ends of the spectrum. Um, you can race the high line. I race the high line, you know, all the time on a yeah. lot of tracks. So it depends on your skill level and whether you're competitive and what your difficulty settings are set to. Absolutely. I think we're going to jump out of career mode. I think we pretty much showed a lot of career mode. Um, I do want to go to the reputation yeah, and check that too. out. Let's see what we got here on the dirt. So we're on the verge. Do the Y button on your. Can you do the Y? Yeah. It's the full list. Here okay, it is. Okay, there he is. So, so Jay's not happy with me. Yeah. Yeah. Especially since you provoked him after he. Yeah. So now he's, he's like, next you. time I see you out there, I'm going to give you a, a nudge or so I might you wreck you. Him. Yeah. You'll remember mm -hmm. him. He might remember you. 99 is back to neutral because I did apologize. Yep. He's no he longer back. upset about it. Um, that's good to know. Uh, and then we have some friends out there, as you can see, all the way to there. All right, sweet. Let's see, go ahead and hit back. I do want to do um, a uh, a race a, at uh, at Talladega or something. Show the plate racing. Oh yeah, sure. So you can see what uh, improvements you guys made to that. I noticed that um, it seems like uh, side drafting is a little more dumbed down, or not dumbed down, but it seems like it's a little bit more realistic as far as. It's not pulling a car completely back. It's it, again, it depends on your difficulty setting because it might feel that way if you have it on easy, um, right? Because you're going to pass anyway. Um, you need to be on a more challenging setting to feel the full force of like our, our physics when it comes to uh, play tracks. But um, it, I'm going to put them at 105 here. It was also polished. Yeah, that's going to be your best bet. And it sure. was quick qualifying. polished just like everything else, uh, physics wise, in the game this year. Very nice. I like Talladega. Got a lot, of this, a lot of room to work with. Yes. And we can cycle the events if we wanted to. Like anytime. There we go. We'll just do that one. And we're good. All right. I'll go back to uh, read some chat stuff. How long are 100% dirt races? That's a good question because we just asked that one today. And we were like, I don't know. I haven't tried. I believe it depends on the track. Yeah. Um, I believe there are 100 laps, I believe. Or is yeah. It, like obviously the, the, a normal, the dirt track uh, is like heat would 25. Be 50, 25, 50 laps. Yeah. 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 The stage it would be, but I want to say 100 laps. Okay, let's uh, continue on that. Okay, and we'll go to change setup. And actually, stable's gonna be fine for this. We're at a plate track. Um, let's go to qualifying because I do want to show you guys that we have a default setup, and we have them at 105. And you can, and we're at Talladega now. If we go out and qualify, we should qualify decently based on how well we go around this track. Because I know in uh, heat two, a here. lot of the uh, issues of go. the AI just seemed to be really brutal when it came to qualifying. And you guys did fix that, I remember. Let's go on around that. But I can tell you this with confidence because I've already done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm trying to qualify at Talladega in a while, so I'm gonna see what I can do. We'll get up here and wind the car up. Yeah, keep in mind we're just using one of the, the presets, the default, at 105 difficulty. So as long as we don't put this thing in the fence or we do anything else, it should be pretty pretty close all the way around the, the board. But right here, you can really hear the new sounds ringing that uh, top RPM at a play track. Now, on this lap, we are going to hug that yellow line. I love how the sun washes out the uh, pavement there. Yeah, and that's that's what I was kind of talking about before. We went with like more dramatic sky um, skies this year, where the sun is. Try to introduce a little gameplay interaction with getting in your eyes at some points. Yeah, I did notice that. Do. Yeah, I'm very happy with the coloring of the game. It looks uh, looks a lot better. I think the art team's made strides. Yes. Making a lot of improvements every year. Just like it's wrecked. Here we go. 
Let's go. It's not too bad. If you touch that apron, it's all over. These speeds. So the apron thing, I know some people uh, were frustrated if they touched the apron, they would go spinning. Uh, that's just sadly how it is in the real world. You don't get on the apron. It's, it's such a massive change of elevation on the car at those speeds. Yeah, we've talked to the guys at Monster about that. Uh, there may be some tweaking we can do to ease that up at some point, but we definitely want to punish you for, for getting down there. Yeah, no, I agree. Come to the line, so let's see. I feel pretty confident about at least one of those laps there. And 35th, that's not last. That's not last. That's not last. And that's default. We didn't touch anything. We didn't put any tape on the car like you should in qualify or anything. And we weren't uh, we weren't dead. At least you weren't dead last. And yeah, you weren't hard. Yeah, we're at 105. So, uh, and, and just looking at the lap times here, you can just see how close it was for some of these drivers. Those guys are all very close, obviously. So just within right. a couple hundredths of a second. And I was right there. So I was very close. You were pretty close. Really close. <laughs> So that, uh, that's been adjusted, and I'm actually really happy to see that. Let's go racing. We're starting 35th, the 1000bulbs.com at Talladega. Chris Buescher uh, has been dominant all week, so look out for him. So here we are. Here we go. I did, so. It's one of my favorite streams. Uh, one thing I did notice that when you're at 105 difficulty, remember we have a default set up, uh, the field doesn't dust you in the beginning. It seems like everybody has a pretty fair advantage on a restart. And uh, that's really good to see. The AI, like, AI tweaks are uh, very, very noticeable. That was another thing. Trying to get specifically, the monster guys wanted to do they all did, but they went through each one. Yeah. Stay low, stay low. He's, stay he's right on my bumper back there. Stay on the bottom here for me. Still there. Ah, you do it. There's a lot of pressure. Everybody's watching. Yep. I'll probably spin out of it. <laughs> Still there. And if you if you open the door, they will take it. They're not afraid to do that. They won't they won't outright wreck you. But I mean, if, if you're not paying attention and you're opening that door, they have no problem with their nose down there and saying, "Hey, I want this." I did notice that uh, bump drafting was pretty good. Uh, you could get on somebody and give them a nice little nudge, and they would get it advanced in speed. Yeah, and you definitely need to find a partner out here. Like if you're front, you know, it, it matters, obviously. So. Right. Got 13 laps to try to make up some positions here. Yeah, I think I was, I saw, I think it was you last year doing this at this point, how easy it was to get to the front. Um, yeah, the outside, the hardest yeah mm -hmm. you can see it's not that, not way, that way anymore. And I've also noticed that when it's on the hardest one, you, you don't pull away from the pack anymore. It is really true. That's how it should be at a play track. Everybody's even. Yeah. Still there. Be right here. Now we'll give McMurray a little bit of a bump there. He's going to get some speed and we'll go right now 34, but. Still Another there. bump there. Oh, well, my only uh, wins I had in my racing were the most of my big ones were at play tracks. <laughs> Car high, careful now. Easy. So you can see everybody's really, really close together. Look at the, the front there. Nobody's getting a huge lead on anybody uh, there. Still there. It's still pretty difficult to throw that car into the corner at 200, though. We've got those close low, no. Still there. Outside, yeah, we've been pretty much the same. And Timmy Hill is going to drop it right there in front of us. That's okay. I'll Still take there. that run. I'm actually going to side drop it. And there's there something. Go. I was going to side drop a 66. Still there. Of course. We'll try to get another run on the back stretch here. I'm hoping Ty Dillon will give us a little bit more of a push there. The we're hitting right. the here. Yeah. Still there. Don't advance that position now. He was not letting you back in. <laughs> no, he was not. He was going to railroad you. Mm hmm. Car outside. Hold your line here. Hold the wheel. That was our mistake. And I, that was me that dove the car away. I didn't want to get in the wreck there. If I would have just been on, on the side of his. 
quarter panel, we would have spawn him or spawn ourselves. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about is blowovers. Is that something that uh, you guys have toned down or worked on? Blowovers. Uh, when you go, you know, when you spin around at 200 miles an hour on the car, it has that natural lift up. Oh, well, body. the physics have all been, you know, tweaked, and I, I would expect to see less of that this year. Yeah. That's good. One thing I think uh, that I can say for certain I've noticed is more downforce. Feels like it. I mean, it's been, it's been like a, a handful of things, so mm -hmm. everything coming together just gives the game a different feel. Um, so that is probably part of it, what you're seeing, what you're feeling. Big your driver, hold this line here. Push on gold in there. I'll open it up, but it's just not working. Got a few more laps to go here to make something happen. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. I was hoping Galdi was going to go up and I could have snuck in there and got the draft off of Bowman. Now, you can lose the draft pretty easy if uh, you, you're doing some reckless maneuvers and you get in the wall or something, and it's just the way it is. When you're racing at people at 105, there's no, there's none of that uh, rubber banding where they're going to wait up for you. And, of course, your setup would help you here, too. You might have a little more speed. If yeah, you're absolutely. If you're ahead, you can really get in there and yourself that set up and if you just don't like the one try to get out of and try that. Yep. Still there. A lot of different ways we can do that. Still there. Good run on him here from just keep it up. Trying to side draft the out drop the outside lane. Still there. Might be able to have the spectator cam on right now. The oh, you do have a spectator cam. I was going to ask, because I asked about uh, if you had spectators so you, so we could have live spotters, actually. If you jump into a race, you can watch a race in progress. That, 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 that is cool. So I could jump in here and watch you do this. Oh, okay, that's really cool. I, I just, I, I don't know, because it reminds me of that a lot. That it's one of the last features we got in. Yeah. It's, it's whoa, whoa, really checked up. up. We're okay. Somebody really checked up. I don't know what happened to this line that's falling apart. Oh no. That made things really. That could have been real bad. You got the short end of the stick on that one. Jumped out to quick race, right? Yeah, I don't think cautions are on. Cautions are on, but that wasn't a really big thing. It didn't seem, I didn't see any smoke. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, we do have AI racks. We do have AI like hiccups. So there's the yeah. Possibility. Did something or blew a tire or something. Uh, I don't know what our damage was on that though. Again, I don't have the uh, controller plugged in. My style of uh, racing is different than a yeah, lot of people yeah. in this game. <laughs> but I like to show you guys show the uh, what you what you can do, and and I like showing the other side of it. Yeah, well, it's you've got a clean perspective too. We get really close, whether you like it or not. Yep. It was many many months goes down getting this thing done so it's good to see it from your perspective. A lot of good feedback too. Five to go driver. Five to go. Yeah. I think that's gonna happen. We're pretty much just the sitting duck now. <laughs> so you can even hear your RPM Something happened yeah I think we got a little bit of damage. Three sixty view of the car. If I had the uh, controller plugged in, I could. Or the shot, I guess. If it screws me up. It screws me up. No harm, no foul. Just one handing it around. If I got a problem. <laughs> yeah, here we go. There's the wall. There we go. Here's the three sixty. It's very fluid and very, uh, very nice. Terrible driving. How do we this? While looking backwards. Yes. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the grass. Oh, there we go. We got on the apron there. Just those up, and it barely came off the ground. But I think it originally would have came completely off the ground. Yeah. And we just gave ourselves a caution there as well. So Put we can actually back into it. <laughs> Yeah, we put ourselves back <laughs> into it. You're not gonna get fined like you would in real life. But, uh, no, we're gonna get, we're gonna repair and everything, and just go to the tail end of the field and try to make something happen in the last few laps. Yeah, see, Kyle Busch is 40th there. Something happened. To him. He's two laps down. I think yeah, and he was, and he was the one that with the cause. I saw yeah. the the yeah. yellow car up there. 
trying to piss his brother off or something. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay, we're going NASCAR over. Oh, yeah. NASCAR over time. Have a good day. Be ready. Ready. Car there is on the outside. Outside. Let's try to make something happen with the last couple laps. Need you to stay on the bottom right here. Still there. That's steering damage. Third. Two more. Two to be expected after the lick we took. Hey, Kennington, you going to keep that open? I'm going to take it. Yes. Uh, careful now. Still there. Yeah, the car wants to turn right on me pretty good there. Yeah, this little bit. It's all right. You can take this You're clear. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> One legend or 105 at this one. Yeah, 105. Ooh, yep, Kyle's got a little bit of a uh, run around the outside of Bowman. Outside lane seems to have the energy right now. Clear all around. Yeah, I've got that damage. It just wants to hunt the wall. No, we haven't got screwed. That car there is on your inside. Inside. Right flag. Oh, yeah. I mean, you did. But I think your car is hurting. It's done. I mean, we're, we were only doing 198-ish. Yeah, one who run, lost the draft. Yeah, if I let go of the wheel, watch. Uh, it goes like this. It's that much to the right. <laughs> I'm telling you, hard. Yep. Better result, though, than last year when we took the run right to the front. <laughs> yes. 105. I'd rather see this. Yeah, absolutely. To be yeah, this is challenging at 105. And we go down to 85, so there's plenty of options for all scale. Yes. Yeah. But, and I tend to uh, find that I, I change different scale up, skill levels for uh, different um, different tracks. Some tracks, I mean, I'm pretty good at some tracks and not so good at others, you know, and yeah. I have to do that too. Before uh, we let you go, I wanted to uh, show people Watkins Glen because the, AI's, the AI uh, at Watkins Glen has been revamped revamped completely oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can no longer do the old let's take them all and turn one anymore <laughs> you're gonna do 105 at the glen huh yep uh, i kind of want to see this 105 at the glen and uh yeah it's the the restarts don't they're not so bottled up and uh, you won't you you can't take them all in one turn that's one thing that i really like to see i always but i saw that in so many games the same issue i was like man maybe that's just something to do with the ai pathing and Watkins glen Sonoma's a tricky track, for example. That first turn going uphill and then making a right. It's like I've seen that bottleneck thing going on at four, on fours. I've seen it in right. the game. It's, it's a really tough challenge because these cars have to adhere to like the rules, whereas the player can just smash their way through if they want yeah. to. And it, it, it's a challenge. But We're going to start in the back here and try to... That's what it's a show. Really good weekend. Pole winner was Martin Truex Jr. And Blaney's in a backup car because he crashed during qualifying. Here we are. All right, here we go, guys. 105 at the Glen. Green flag, green flag. Right side. Clear all around. Oh, you know, I think it's control of screen. Hold on a second. Can we do something fast? Oh, because you plugged in the... Yeah, the controller. It's losing its yeah. mind. Trying to take take control over everything. <laughs> it was just taking it right yeah, over and over. I was like, what the hell's going on there? All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Last time I was just hunting right towards Blaney. I was like, sorry, Blaney, I'm trying not to hit you. Still have that loose setup, in there, right? Uh, we're at balance, right oh, in the middle. Catching a little bit here in the bus stop. And this is a uh, third gear corner, believe it or not. Well, it's not second. It's a pretty fast section of the track. Oh, yeah, I think I, I saw some feedback about not bouncing over those. Oh yeah, I noticed that was one thing I was going to bring up. Um, was uh, the the bumps in tracks 
are prevalent now. I've, I've seen it like at uh, Atlanta, cars bounce up and yeah, down. you're feeling it, right? I don't yeah. know. We had an early build, and we, we put out a video where it didn't look like it was happening. I don't know if the build was bad or not, but uh, well, it's, it's okay. Yeah, there's definitely a feel of the uh, curb. Yeah, I have too much brake bias the wrong way there. Yeah, that's just good. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more shot at this. One more shot. Coming to the green, driver. Before we call ourselves ready? that we suck at this. <laughs> this well, if you feel it's your fault, that's great. Right? If you feel it's the game's fault, then it's no, that's game, definitely so. driver <laughs> if you feel like error. You can improve. That, that's what we want. But we don't want to do no, it's driver error there for sure. He's got Still two there. Zealous. Especially in this turn. Our motto is that no races are won in the first turn. So. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Think tight true. there, driver. Hold this line here. Try telling that to oh, every race car driver. Clear. <laughs> Same. Well, I got a good run yeah. there. Just left side. Okay. Left side. Yeah, picking up. Yep, the dirt right there. And one thing they didn't do there is I, I got checked up really good. The, their wreck avoidance is uh, a lot better now. Stay left. They won't, uh, they won't just there. ram into you if they can prevent it. Such a track in the middle. Still there. The oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, now you're clear. Yeah, a little too hot. Yeah, turn, but it's okay. It's just so challenging. You picked up four or five spots in there. Yep. One of the club. Yeah, they're at 105, so they're cruising around this track right now. Five to go this time, Buck. A little early on that. And, and you can see those guys uh, hop in the curb there. Still there. It's, it's also one of those things you don't really see too much if you're not in, using an inside view. When it's up in the air, it's harder to see those bumps. Right. Yeah, the cameras up above the car don't show those. Yeah. Hold your mind. Three wide. Three wide. <laughs> I totally just cut his nose. <laughs> Positions can be taken and moved up. I'm going to go to this so we can see a little bit more. Right side, please. Yeah, too early. <laughs> we had that. Cracked our uh, right uh, front there. Okay. Still there. I always want to keep the carousel in second, but third seems to work pretty good. Careful, still there. Clear to your right. Contact there with each other. Do all the track you can. But you didn't lose it. You saved it. I was going to see it. It'd be really good, obviously, but uh, yeah, it was a good save. Time. Left side. Left side. Too much gas. Come around the corner. Yep. There you go. 
very racy. So one thing you can uh, you can do easily is if you get in the gas too early, you're going to spin the car. And we don't have stability on or anything, of course. Stay left. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Right side's clear. Over driving that corner a lot. Yeah, me and Gillen have been going at it here for a while. Still there. Watch that little battle develop. <laughs> in career, you kind of get that reputation. Well, you're all around. Add a little bit of punt to that. Yeah. Two man battle within the race. It's been fun watching this race, though. It's really fun watching someone who's relatively new to all the changes we put in. Yeah. So of course, this year, too, you can go to practice and run that practice line and really learn the ins and outs of speed. And yes, no, absolutely. The bus stop the well, I, uh, I've i been racing at home with a load cell on my brake, and the uh, G27 one I'm using here is like an old, older style one. So the load cell kind of reacts to the pressure you push down on the pedal compared to actually full travel of the pedal. So that's been a very interesting thing <laughs> to get used to. I used to use the G27 all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. With stability off, you, you guys have a lot of control of the car. I think that you can see that in the physics here, that things are a little bit better now. That. I like watching the battle for four or five spots. Yes. They work so hard for that. Ian Galding and Gillen. The whole race. Still there. He's a whole little track. Get around him. All right, now you're clear. Left side, mm -hmm. all clear. You might have uh, been paying me for that one, I don't know. Right, careful now, still there. Right, <laughs> 39. <now you're> <laughs> hey, we got it. <laughs> That's the start. All right, guys. Well, thanks uh, to Sean for stopping by. And thanks for having me. Really appreciate this. it. Really it's fun. been a lot of fun. Um, uh, I think we're going to be going for a little bit longer here. Uh, I'm going to bring Bugs in so you guys can see him. He's been under the weather today, so uh, that's where he's been. Uh, he's actually been sick, believe it or not. So, Poor Bugs. Yeah, if you see him, just let us know. Let him know. We're good. I'll get him behind the wheel so you guys can do that. And then I can answer your questions and, and read the the, uh, the chat itself. So how are we liking it so far, everybody? Do you want to see the burnout feature, please? Uh, we have to win races to do that, but I can show you it. Um, all we got to do is go back. We can just make sure that we win a race, really. Um, let me do that, actually. Let's, uh, let's finish up the event and leave the track. we see the paint schemes? Sure. Uh, we can do that. Oh, you want to see reconfigured ISM? I, I completely blanked on that because I uh, recorded that for YouTube today. But yes. The AI is much harder now. Yes. Actually, I'm going to give it to... Are you okay to take it for some laps? Oh, God, race? no. Yeah, you can. Oh, God, no. I, I won't be able to see this. Oh, God, no. No? No. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. He's not going to race, guys. Sorry. <laughs> well, here, you get to read chat then. Because okay. I haven't been able to read chat at all okay. with a racing game. Uh, let's see. Go back. Let me go to show you guys. We've got here. Let's start from the A's. Almendinger. You got uh, Eric Almarola with some different paint schemes here. Got the Smithfield Prime with the 
a nice chicken or something on the side there. Maybe it's a, it's a steak. It just looks like the color chicken. <laughs> Trevor Bain. He's got a Performance Plus motor oil car. Uh, Ryan Blaney's got his normal Dex Imaging one, but you can also run the yellow Menards. Uh, we've got Alex Bowman nationwide on the Exalta 88 as well. Nationwide is what? Well. Oh, yeah, we did have another one. We had uh, the white nationwide car, and then the normal one. Pretty neat. Uh, then we have Clint Boyer with the Rush. We got the Haas CNC. Those are the two there. Chris Busher. You've got Cottonelle, Tyson, Kleenex. That stuff. Uh, Kurt Busch has his two: the matte or the uh, the red and the black. Kyle Busch has the M and M's, or you can have the caramel. Which is a really cool scheme. I do like that one. So two to choose from there. William Byron. It's got uh, the white 24 car. It's got the uh, 24 with the flames and the red 24. Um, I know a lot of people were asking about why uh, they were showing William Byron's car with the red 24. You get both, honestly. So you've got that one as well. Uh, moving on, you got Ross Chastain. No extra things there. That's our custom driver one. Uh, Matt DiBenedetto. Got Austin Dillon. You have the American ethanol version of his car, which is cool. Uh, Ty Dillon. Chase Elliott. You've got the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The yeah. Bahajima Blast. <laughs> That's awesome. A Tropical Lime Storm. And the Napa 9. Salute to Heroes. And then the Standard. Uh, we've got Brendan Gaughan, Greg Galding, David Gilliland, Denny Hamlin. It's got the uh, different FedEx Expressor Ground. Really not, not too many changes there. Kevin Harvick, just one scheme. Daniel Hemrick with one. Uh, Timmy Hill, one. Jimmy Johnson has the, the new Lowe's. And then we have the Lowe's 48 with the red, white, and blue. That's a pretty one. Lowe's for pros. Eric Jones with the DeWalt. And then we've got the sports clip, Sport Clips 20. And then uh, Casey Kane, it's got the Pro Core. Then we've got the WRL, Gel Contractor. So that's actually really cool. I like that paint. And then, yeah, those two. Uh, Brad's got the discount tire one and this one. Uh, if you do put in your information, you can unlock the Miller Lite scheme. So you can uh, unlock the, the alcohol sponsors again in this game. Keep that in mind. But you can drive the discount, too. We've got uh, Corey LaJoy, Kyle Larson. It's got the Credit One Bank. Got uh, the McDonald's 42. So those two to choose from. we got uh, Joey Logano's Shell 22. And then we've got the Pennzoil 22. That's a really cool one. It's like an old classic look. Uh, then we've got McDowell, K-Love, Classic, and the Love's Car. And Jamie Mack. Got his car here with the Cessna or the McDonald's, one of the two. They're mad you skipped the Canadian. They didn't have a paint scheme. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm just, upset. if they don't have a paint scheme, I'm just skipping over <laughs> it. Sorry. Because uh, we're running, I don't want to sit here and just go through every single car. Paul Menard, you got that one and that one. I'm going to go faster with this. So we've got Ryan Newman's car, it's Bass Pro Shops, or the Cat Car. Dana Kapatrick's old car. Uh, from that was the one she raced at Daytona this year, her last race. Uh, David Reagan got uh, Harrison Rhodes, got Reed, got Ricky Stenhouse with the fifth third bank car or the Fast and All 17. Got uh, Daniel Suarez, Stanley or Harris, uh, Mark Truex Jr., got the Tracker Boats or the Five Hour Energy 78, uh, Bubba Wallace. Got his uh, car right here. NASCAR racing experience, the Petty experience, or the uh, click and close. AJ, we got Eric. We already covered all of them. Yep. And there you go. That's that's everybody for that. We're not going to go through every single series because we want to actually race cars here. Um, I am going to show you, however, the new ISM Speedway. Let's, uh, let's get... Let's go ahead and just go with Chase Elliott's car. I haven't driven... The Chevy's at. I haven't. I haven't. Um, let's go to Phoenix, which is ISM right here. 
ISM Raceway, Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -mm. Again, I'm a uh, inside wheel racer, so for those of you that like the outside view stuff, uh, I tried to show some of that off earlier in the previous uh, stream that you definitely did. Uh, hit continue here. We went over a lot of stuff in the... Um, a lot of stuff in the career mode. Session. Let's go right into qualify. Right into qualifying. Let's we're going to be at 105, so we're going to get killed. That's all right. No questions? Um... Yeah, you can put your own name in career mode. Yep. You put your own name in career um, mode. Drama 101 subscribe with Twitch Prime. Oh, thank you, Drama 101, for that subscription. We're qualified. Make it count. I really uh, do appreciate that. Price? Price. Forty nine ninety nine. For the game? Yeah. Yeah. I believe it's forty nine ninety nine. dollars And you get a, a voucher to go see a live racing event. $50 voucher. Uh, and this is the PC version, yes. not console. Yes. PCs are 60 frames and consoles are 30. Uh, I know a lot of people don't understand the reason behind that. Uh, that is because when you have to paint 40 cars and physics for 40 cars, that is a lot to ask for. Um, and the consoles can only do so much with it. Uh, a lot of times you'll see in a lot of racing games, you're not going to get a, f a full field of 40 cars. Mm -hmm. It would just tank the frames. So instead of it being, it would be, if you think about it, it would be like 60 and it would probably drop down like 40 or 50 or who knows what. It's, it wouldn't be really 60 frames consistent. Can you look at multiplayer features? There's nothing online yet. There's no, that's just a common yeah. question. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's a common question. There's no, um, nothing there. Ticket Guardian 500 at ISM Raceway. Jimmy Johnson failed technical inspection. Going to go to the back of the field. Got DJ Kennington starting at the back as well. For failed scan. Let's do it, folks. Have a good day. Be ready. Hot driver, Nick. Run you over there. Oh, I missed the shift. What am I doing? I can't hear a damn thing. Let's try that again. Yeah, normally whenever I stream, I can hear a game audio in my headphones. Cannot. It's on the television here for me for the corner. all of that in detail um it's been adjusted but uh they still want to punish you for driving below the line so and, and that's how it is it's just going to be slick and and tough to get around i tried going the apron yeah. and go back and see this uh still there either on my five and live channel or on uh the vod we went into that in detail with Car there is on the outside. Outside. stuff has been covered. All right, careful now. Still there. They're at 105, so they're, they're tough. Stay low. Stay low. All right, careful now. Still there. Outside. Outside. 24 left. No mistake. Now. There, driver, hold this line here. Hard on the outside. He's outside. Stay low. Still there. 
Stay low. Stay low. Ooh, he just Still bombed pay. it in there. Jimmy Johnson did, and he's going to pay for it. He, went, <laughs> he just went around. Caution's going to come out probably on that. Caution. Yeah, there's the caution. caution. Wow. Okay. We're not going to pit. Don't need to. We'll advance to the green. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. They want you to win. Right, oh, yeah, they want me to do burnout. Yep. Uh, I have to do, um, I have to turn way down for that. Yep, that's what they're saying. I'm just trying to show people the that the AI are a lot more difficult now. Hold your line, stay up high, stay high, still there. Fast here. Stay up high here, stay up high, still there. Car there's on your inside. He's inside. Oh, slimmer can slimmer. Car there's on your inside. inside. Thousand bits. Oh, thanks for that, man. Clear all around. Inside. Inside. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Name your career here. mode team. No, you cannot. There's presets. We saw what? Five. Inside, yeah. inside. That'd be cool. Something for the uh, future, that's for sure. Inside, inside. Still there. Clear all around. Get on the bottom. Right, now you're clear. Top's killing got me right down now. now. Got one down low. Got one down low. inside. Still able to fight back on the outside though, so that's good. One five. Clear to your left. Clear all around. Oh, a little bit of cut. Inside. 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 Yeah, we're not gonna be winning any races with them at one on five. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, careful now. Still there. Stay on the bottom right here. Still there. there. Clear all around. Show you the burnout mode. Got really hot end of the turn. <laughs> cool. I don't even know what it's even called now with ISM. Alright, halfway. Turn one's now turn four, I guess. Bombed it in there last time on me, so I'm gonna do it to you. That car there's on your inside. You Big run. run. Keep digging. We have ten to go. Right, careful now. Still there. Car on the outside now. Outside. Top lane three here. You're gonna be needed. Top lane three. Still there. You got all the room you need. You're clear. Got one down low now. Got one down low. Can you not tell the difference when you swap between loose and stable? Got one down Big low now. Difference. Got one down low. Inside. I'm just seeing I have the car just a touch over balanced towards the loose side. And it's a little stay loose. High, stay high. If it's on straight loose, if you just get there. into the gas coming Hold off the line. corner, you're in a Clear all around. There it was. Destroyed. Boom! Destroyed the car. Well, that's what some people wanted to see. Yep, they wanted to see us crash it. It comes out September 7th. Yep. Uh, we're going to quit back, and we'll just do that before we wrap things up. We will. will. Confirm. Yes, 
escape. Uh, no, that was fine. I will do cycle events. Quick race settings. Here we go. I'm going to bring them down to like 96. No, let's, even, let's do 90. I mean, we're going to destroy them. But we just want to see the burnout mode, so we'll do that. Okay, let's go right to the next mode. We got to qualify, so we definitely win. Let's go. Lucy Liu subscribed with Twitch Prime for oh. four months in a row. Thank you, Lucy. For the support of the channel, I really do appreciate that. Make this qualifying lap count, please. Is there mid race saves? I don't know what that means. I'm assuming saving in the middle of a race to come back to it later. I don't think so. No. I don't believe so. Alright, time to let's see where we're Now we got the pole. Imagine that at now 90%. They, they also <laughs> would, they're wanting to see a pit stop. Oh, okay. I mean, we, we can't pit without losing the race. So, I don't know. <laughs> they all wanted burnouts, now all they right, don't want to the so. yeah, Okay. Be ready here. <laughs> yeah. Green flag. I can tell you right now, yeah. the pit animation is better. Uh, the times seem to be a lot more realistic, from what I could tell. Oh, wow. Uh, Slumber in games again, 5,000 bits. Oh, thank you so much, dude. The bugs will get to feeling better and thank you for your awesome content. Taking rides on that sick Harley. Thanks so much, dude. I really appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Man, that you can't see anything coming out of turn uh, four there. Straight up shadow. There is a mirror in the outside view that you can turn on. Yes, off. I just don't have it mapped to a button on the wheel. But yes, there is a mirror. If you want it, you have a 360 camera, you can yeah, look behind you. All that. Yep. Got target fixation on that uh, speed limit sign. All right, the wall. To be honest, like we've been playing this game for what a day, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I 
could use the 360 camera only if Boy, after a crash or something and right look there. back a couple times. It's just not something that I use. <laughs> you stay high, people. stay high. Careful, still yeah. there. Clear all around. Outside, outside. Five more left here. All right, clear outside. Car outside. Is there a hard outside. cap for SPS? Clear all around. On PC, like, can I go above 60? Um, I don't think so. The game just runs at 60 frames. Also, <laughs> on heat wreck everything here just by getting around these assholes. <laughs> Does the Steam <laughs> version have the $50 voucher? No. Digital copy, no. It's only in a physical copy. Got a car up top, he's up top, got a car high now. All right, now you're clear. Told you how bad I was at racing in this view. <laughs> I can't do that, dude. Nope. Stay on the bottom here for me. All right, careful now, still there. Hard on the outside. He's outside. All right, clear high, bud. Draw clear up top. One more laps to go. A couple more turns. Two more. Two to go. One to go. One to go. I mean, it's some burnouts. Drop your speed, driver. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time to pit. Car outside. And still win. Clear <laughs> all around. <laughs> outside, outside. All clear. All clear. Clear all around. I wouldn't say that. Oh, you earned it. Earned it. You earned it. <laughs> Going to burnout mode. And now we can do our burnout right here. Oh, and you have to be careful because you can blow your engine mm -hmm. really easy in burnout mode, by the way. <laughs> engine in career mode. No. We've done that. That's scary stuff. Plug in the uh So I can take him on. Oh. Go 
one in that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop going the wrong way. Stop going the wrong way. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> That is a burnout, my friends. People were wondering if you can uh, do a Alan Kulicki lap. Yes, you can. Keep in mind you're in burnout mode, so the car is very easy to spin. Look at the smoke coming out of this thing. Still. Just a little bit. <laughs> it makes it cool for if you want to do like uh, those fast ones where you like speed going and just be like right there <laughs> mm -hmm. oh okay so yeah keep in mind when you're in burnout mode that you're the physics are uh very easy to burn out they had to they had to change that I do like 80 in it. So 60 is in fourth gear is when it starts breaking loose. Burnout mode complete. <laughs> Okay. And we won the trophy because we did didn't have any competition. That's the event. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're going to call the uh, stream here. Um, it's been fun. Excited for this game. I know yeah. uh, we plan on doing a series, a multiplayer series ourselves. Weekly. Yeah, a weekly series. Um, we had uh, so we had some issues last time when we were trying to do multiplayer content yeah um but yeah we plan on doing that i think dirt track racing on multiplayer is gonna be a oh ton yeah on of fun yeah we're gonna do a lot of that that's gonna be the coolest thing um we already showed a lot of courier stuff and everything else no problem uh jeremy not a problem at all i hope you guys enjoyed the the stream i, I didn't see a ton of things about it being laggy or anything so hopefully no. it no held up since i was looking nobody yeah. saw, said anything so uh, again, guys, thank you so much. I am. Um, we got to go to the airport here in a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, and I have to we'll die. Be, you have to die, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll be back in Orlando. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Love uh, you. Probably tomorrow. Actually, I'll do a stream tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, things should get right back to what they should be. Oh my God! Look at all the frames we've been dropping the whole time. Uh, here and there, I guess. Yeah, seven percent. It's not yeah. bad. It's all right. It happens. All right, sweet. All right. All right, guys. Take care. Love you. Bye.